Daniel Bernoulli. Daniel Bernoulli is a scientist who was born in the 1700s and died in 1782. And he has done a lot for math and physics when it comes to airplanes. Now, there's a lot of argument. How do planes fly? Is it Isaac Newton and his laws of motion for action, reaction, and angle of attack? Or is it Daniel Bernoulli and his Bernoulli principle? You see, he studied lots of things. He came from a family of geniuses. There were a lot of Bernoullis, and they really they were excellent uh, musicians and did all kinds of amazing things. But Daniel Bernoulli worked on how fluids move. And when we mean fluids, we mean air. And he came up with an observation, and it's known as the Bernoulli principle, which basically says as the speed of a moving fluid is constricted, two things happen. Number one, the velocity V goes up, and number two, the pressure goes down. So basically, the Bernoulli principle is, is like this. If I have this piece of paper, if I can increase the air going across the top, I will increase velocity, decrease pressure, and the air should lift it up. Let's see, ready? See how it went up? And if you apply that to an airfoil or a horizontal side of a wing, let's see if it does the same thing. As the air goes across the top, it's constricted, increased velocity, and decreased pressure. So that's a pretty cool thing to do, and it's easy to make and to show your students. But there's other things Bernoulli we can show you. For example, uh, here's two jars I have, uh, plastic jars. You can do it about any jars. And I've cut some straw pieces about this big. And if I can reduce friction, which is uh, everything we want to do in airplanes and moving objects, it's the enemy of motion, friction. And so now I have these two jars right here. And if I can blow quickly through these, you'd expect them to go apart. But no, if I blow quickly, quickly enough, I'm going to increase the fluid, the air, and decrease the pressure, and they should come together. Let's see, ready? Well, how'd you see that? Boom, they came together. That is Bernoulli in action. You know, for example, if I have a funnel here, and if I blow, you would think that the air might shoot this ping pong ball out. But if I blow hard enough, we should have decreased air pressure, and it should stay in. Let's see, ready? until I run out of breath and gravity takes over. Ready? That's Bernoulli's principle. Uh, but something that is really pretty amazing, I found this, a friend of mine online. This is the famous Bernoulli car made in the 50s. It's a wind-up toy, no energy, most like, almost like a rubber band. Uh, I'm giving it some potential energy, winding it up, just like a rubber band is potential energy. And if I let go, that potential is transferred to kinetic. And it moves across the table. But what makes this thing so cool is this little air pump here. And maybe with Bernoulli, I can get this thing to go. Let's see, here we go. Let's see what happens, ready? Three, two, one. Wow, look at that. <laughs> the clown car, the Bernoulli clown car. Uh, and as the air goes down, it goes down. I take a, a straw and bend it and do the same thing, maybe. If you blow too hard, it goes up too fast. And with a little bit of practice, you can get that to work. Or if you have a hair dryer and a ping pong ball, which I have right here. Let's see what happens. Let's turn this on. Now you expect it to go up, right? But you don't expect it to do this when I start to tilt it. That's Bernoulli. It wants to fall down, but it stays up until I turn the air off, and then gravity takes over. So the Bernoulli principle is kind of a cool thing to do. I have this here, I call this the Bernoulli bag, and it's a large bag, and if I try to blow it up with one breath, I can get about that much air. But if I can do this in such a way that I can 
move my mouth back and blow. Let's see, ready? Now I use Bernoulli, I increase the velocity, decrease the pressure, and it filled in. That's a Bernoulli bag. You can buy these or you can make your own. So finally, if you really want to see Daniel Bernoulli principle, the Bernoulli principle in action, all you need is a leaf blower and a beach ball and maybe some toilet paper. Here we go. Let me turn this on. <laughs> Daniel Bernoulli, the Bernoulli principle. And let me try some, add some toilet paper for this. Add some toilet paper to see what happens. <laughs> the Bernoulli principle. I have here, uh, this is a great thing to do, using a lawn leaf blower. <laughs> a leaf blower, this one gets a little bit loud, and when it goes straight up, you can imagine that the beach ball will go straight up. But watch when I turn it sideways, here we go. <laughs> It is Bernoulli, because it's going sideways. Pretty cool. <laughs> and I can end this with a, just a little bit of a toilet paper and Bernoulli. Too much fun. <laughs> <laughs>